G'day folks, it is an absolutely smashing autumn day up here. I'm at Lake William Hovel. I'm kayak fishing with Rowan and we're targeting redfin. Hey you! You're watching Robbie Fishing. Right now, today Rowan and I are fishing from our kayaks for redfin. Now, same old system as normal. I've got a deep diving lure, which is the RMG Poltergeist Crazy Deep, formerly a Halco Crazy Deep, with a Strike Tiger 1.5 inch curl tail grub in vodka and orange rigged up about a foot above it and i've also got a second rod to cast around this is just a little strike tiger nymph and i'm just going to cast that over these grassy flats so i'm going to be trawling and casting G'day mate, aren't you pretty? But you're gonna have to go because I need to paddle me kayak. See ya mate. How cool was that? Here I just put my hand out like that and he flew over and landed on it and had a rest. He, had, he probably needed a rest, he was probably puffed, it's a long way from the bank. He had a rest, caught his breath and off he went again. That's just wonderful. I love that sort of stuff. Righty, I'm going to reel in my trolling gear. And lay it in the bottom of the kayak. And play with my casting gear. I, uh, I've crawled right along the top end of the lake and now I've come up the river. I'm not sure where Rowan is. He's still out in the main lake, I think. So I uh, haven't done any good. I've had a couple of touches trolling out in, in the open water. But nothing up here in the river. Oh, that was fishy, that then. Right now, there's a few fish jumping up here, which I assume are, tr are trout. One of them hit my strike tiger nymph, and that was it, no other touches. So, even though I think they're probably not feeding on minnows. I'm going to cast the minnow at them just to try something different because it's got the hooks at the back. Oh, a big trout just followed that. He swiped it. I saw him, he was a good fish. When I say big, I'm guessing probably 35 centimetres. Another trout followed that in then. They're following it, but they won't hit it. There's a massive school of tiny weeny redfin just under the water here. I can see probably 40 I reckon. Wow. Right now I've trolled, I've cast, I've cast several different colours of plastics, I've cast minnows and nothing has worked. So now I'm going to the drop shot rig which is quite a heavy sinker. This is one of the Robbie Alexander signature series sinkers that was made for me by Matty Thurling and his sons. And I've got two soft plastics, a little strike tiger nymph, the uh, banana shock attached to the main line, and a tea tail orange spawn attached to a dropper, like a Pat Nostery. I'm going to give this a fair workout. The beauty of the drop shot rig is I can fish deep water like where I am now, it'll sink quickly. And I can just reel it in along the bottom and allow the plastic to move as it to swim around as it moves. And that can allow me to fish deep water, of which this is, because it's taking forever to sink. Good fish. Got him, finally, me first one. It has taken me hours. It has taken three hours and about five lure changes. Right, there's a bit of a cut in the footage there because I didn't think I was filming, so I pushed go and I actually turned it off. But anyway, there you go, folks. It has taken me three hours and about five lure changes, and I have finally caught a redfin, a tiny little redfin, probably about 16 or 17 centimetres long, and he took the banana shock strike tiger nymph. 
I'll hold him up here for a good look because he might be the only one I catch. It's been very slow. <laughs> I'm on the board. It is officially not a fishless trip. You beauty. Please tell me you've caught more than I have. <laughs> Depends on how many you've caught. One. Well, we're a tie there. Fair dinkum, we've only got one each. That was this big. Yeah, mine was probably about 15, 16 centimetres. I just caught it here, about five minutes ago. Oh, wow. It's been so quiet. Yeah, I went, I went out. I got one. I'm on. Oh, I swear. Fish number two, and he is tiny. He is so small. Look at the size of him. God, my last small one was double the size of this small one. <laughs> two. I'm up to two. They're coming on the bite, Rowan. See you later, mate. The Damiki Disco. You put on a smaller lure and you catch smaller fish. Had a bigger lure on earlier and I wasn't catching any fish. <laughs> Done it again. I'm on Rowan, fish number three. Oh, it's a bit bigger than this. It's similar to the first one. See that? Fish number three on the Damiki Disco. Oh, two for the Disco, one for the Strike Tiger. I've done it again because I can't just film all day or I run out of memory cards, so I sort of stop and start and stop and start and every time I hook a fish, I stop. <laughs> but there we go. Fish number three, you beauty. See ya. So nice up here at this time of the day. I'm on. I'm on. I'm on. <laughs> okay, folks. Number four. Number four is on the board. You'll be ulti. It was a slow start, but I'm starting to pick up a few now. See ya, mate. The big poltergeist is a much bigger, the uh, Halco Crazy Deep is a much bigger lure. And maybe it was just too big for the fish, but it gets down deeper to where the bigger fish are. I've put on a smaller lure, knowing full well that it's going to be swimming in shallower water, where I'm more likely to catch small fish. But after fishing for three hours and catching nothing, I just wanted to get a score on the board. So I downsized my lure, moved into shallower water, and the plan worked. Oh, what's that a strike? I was watching that big sea eagle, there he goes again. Something tapped me lure twice. I was watching that big sea eagle over there. And then I had two strikes. I might turn around and troll back through that area. Oh, there's a fish, got him. Yes. Number five. I was stuffing around, he just trying to get me rods into position so that this would lay in the kayak properly. And this fish came along. Number five. Certainly got a score on the board now. Isn't that amazing? I caught three. I caught nothing for the first three hours. And then I've caught five in about the last half an hour. Lovely little ready. See you, mate. Now the Damiki Disco is what's doing the damage. I'll put a link in the video description below the video to where you can find these online. And I'll put links to anything you can find online. One thing I can't link to though is this rod because it's an antique. The Rex Hunt Black Label Kmart rod from about 1992. It's a beautiful rod, I love it. But I can't put a link to it. Surely it's only a matter of time before I catch a bigger one. Got him. Another one. Just trawling backwards and forwards in this same spot. I'm just picking up a few reddies each time I pass through. This is number six. This is the biggest one today. Tell you what, I could almost get a fillet off him, he's in very fat condition. 
Not too bad at all. Not a big fish, but I could almost get a fillet off him. But I'm not, not, not today, mate. I didn't even bring an esky with ice. Got him. Wow, I hadn't even had a chance to start filming again. This one, I'd literally trolled about 10 feet. I put the line in and then uh, started trolling and bang. Uh, another one. Bada bum bum bum. Another one bites the dust. Oops, that number seven, I think. One after the other. I'm up to seven. Oh, really? <laughs> yep. <laughs> We've just gone, got a nuts in the last five minutes, ten minutes. Uh, I'll probably just draw back through a couple of times in head off. We'll tr probably drive back to camp a little bit slower just because of the kangaroo risk. Got him. Number eight. I was just watching while we were just tapping on the bull, just tapping on the bottom, and then along came number eight. Oh, he got off right next to the kayak. Oh, that counts. That's eight it is. Close enough. <laughs> Ooh, got him. Bring him in over this side. Here comes number nine. Number nine. Number nine. Number nine. Number nine. There he is. That's interesting. They're not. Uh, they're not big fish by any standards, but they're. They're not the tiny weeny tiddlers that I often catch in the lakes, especially up here. Have caught a few really small ones today, but they're. Uh, He's not going to open his mouth, but they're not incy wincy fish. They're just small. There's a difference between small and incy wincy. Right, next one is double figures. They've gone nuts. Got him. Where's the double figures? I have hit double figures. Oh, he's getting bigger again. He is almost a filletable fish in my book. I am sure, I am certain that I could get a couple of small fillets off him, put him in some egg and breadcrumbs. And uh, have a little bit of a, a snack pack. A snack pack redfin. The redfin number 10. There's a touch got him. He hit it and then hooked up. He hit it once. And just before I had a chance to say that was a touch. He hit it again. Is he still on? Oh yeah, he's coming in. Number 11. As they know in Roman numerals. Numero 11 -o. I don't know whether that's Roman or Latin, maybe. One of the smallest ones today. See you later, legs 11. Got him. Yep, still got him. That's 12. That's the dirty dozen. Another little one, another tiddler. He's too small to be a snack pack. Right. See you later, number 12. Agent number 12. That's just running the bottom there now. Must be about seven or eight foot deep. Isn't it amazing, the first three hours of today didn't catch a fish. I tried deep water, shallow water, fast water, right up where the river runs in. I tried over the flats, I tried the steep banks. It took three hours to crack the code, and it turns out that the best fishing of the lot was right in front of the picnic ground, over the mud flats, in about seven or eight feet of water. That's the best fishing for the smaller fish. The bigger fish, 
well I still haven't cracked that code. Right, folks, thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, want to give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and hopefully I'll see you in my next video.